Special delivery from Shop Indoor Golf. Let's see what. Now this is the mid-grade impact screen that they have. It's called the Preferred. Let's open this baby up. It is a little bit packaged, a little bit tighter or smaller than I thought it'd be. And lighter. It's uh here it is. It's like a woven plastic material. I got the unfinished edges here, so you've got the option to leave it unfinished or um, with kind of a black reinforcement around the edges with some grommets to attach to more of an enclosure. Um, but since I'm gonna roll this up on my bar, I didn't want those thicker pieces on the edge to build up. I want a nice even layer across my bar. So let's get this thing up and uh, hit a few balls and do it and see how it works. All right, let's get this screen up on our bar. I'm just gonna use some masking tape uh, to put it up temporarily. I know the dimensions is supposed to be, but I just wanna verify um, the exact dimensions I got on the bar and the length before I do anything permanent. So I'll probably go with more of a Gorilla tape, like a black, um, to finalize it, but I'm gonna use this masking tape to start because it's easier to remove and reposition, good things like that. So. Let's see how this goes. I might just sweep the floor here quick uh, to make sure I don't have a bunch of dirt that gets on this. My width dimensions, I got set about perfect. I've got about an inch from each end, so my width is awesome. Um, I'm just gonna crank it up and see how that goes before I fully tape that whole seam up on the bar. That one's pretty darn good. There's a little bit of, of misalignment on the tracking as I roll it up, but there's enough clearance there on each side. That's not a problem. So I'd say that's a gigantic success. I'm gonna unroll it, take that fully with the duct tape, make sure that doesn't come off. I don't plan on never coming fully down. I'll probably leave one wrap on it anyway, so I don't think that tape needs to hold super hard, but just want to make sure that's all even. And then, I think I'm going to need some sort of weight on the bottom so that when I hit a ball, it doesn't come smack the wall, obviously. Normally, um, these are often used in an enclosure where it's pulled tight to the side and pull tight top and bottom. Obviously, I don't have that scenario, so I'm gonna to have to put something on the bottom uh, to provide some tension on there. You can see when I've got it fully, fully down there, I've got some slack on the floor. I did bring it fully down so I could uh, have the top exposed to tape it, but normally, I will not uh, bring it down this far to risk that tape coming off. <clears throat> I 
Well, look at this, it's working beautifully. I was a little concerned that my gear ratio here, I did be cranking forever to get the screen up or down, but it's really not bad. It goes pretty quick. Now I just have to get some sort of weight on the bottom of here and the screen is done. So I got my PVC pipe on the bottom there. It's doing a good job of weighting things down a little bit. You can see it's not perfect. There's a few little, little ripples in there. Really, it's, it's the ability to uh, stretch that thing and get it perfectly in that slit. And because that cut I made is a little bit rough, it's not allowing me to stretch that fabric and get it perfect. So it bugs me a little bit. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Um, when I put it down to the ground, it's not going to affect the projection or anything like that. So I'm leaning towards leaving it. My only concern at this point, my only concern at this point is if I have enough fabric um, into the PVC where it won't pull out, but it seems clamped pretty good. So before I mess around with it for hours, I'm going to give it a few hits here and see what happens and see if it stays tucked, tucked in there or it pulls out a little bit, so. By the way, this is a Country Club Elite hitting mat I picked up. Uh, this is a three, three foot by five foot version. You can see it has a nice thick turf to it um, with foam below it. I think this is uh, one of the most popular brands, kind of considered industry standard Country Club Elite. Uh, this particular mat is available through Costco, which is where I bought it, for $250. So it's not available in the store, I'd order it online. But of course you get free shipping. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this hitting into it. Um, it's very forgiving. Um, it doesn't grab your club super hard. Um, like uh, kind of hitting through real turf. And the other thing, it does not leave a residue on the bottom of your club. So I give it a thumbs up. I would buy it again. All right, I'm making some progress here. So I did some hitting with the kids and such and uh, wayward shots were a bit of an issue. So I decided to go ahead and put some nets on the side. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do that on this side. I went shopping and I found at Lowe's these cool fittings, um, traditional pipe fittings, but with sockets and a set screw instead of threaded connections. So, so I don't have to worry about cutting them and uh, threading. So you can see here, Steel Tech is the brand name. They had a pretty good selection of three quarter inch and inch and a quarter. For some reason, one inch was suspiciously missing. Um, but that seems to work pretty well, and it has this special pipe to go with it here. So I bought two 10-footers, um, cut one in half to make five-footers for the net. And then the other thing I'm going to do with this pipe, see I've got a 110-inch lane there. <clears throat> the PVC pipe did not work out for the bottom of my net, so what I'm going to do is roll this up and sew it and then slide the pipe inside of there to weight the bottom evenly and then I don't have to worry about uh, tape or clamping coming undone it's just captured there all right so I'm gonna get the net set up on this side I already have my flange bolted to my corner plate up there so then it's just a matter of sliding my pipe into that flange fitting and then there's a set screw on top you tighten up. 
and it's a pretty substantial set screw so you can get this thing tightened up pretty good. You can see that socket is a little bit looser when we start tightening that set screw, it starts squaring things up. So, I've got my loop pinned in my fabric here, and I went ahead and got one of these handheld sewing things for like 25 bucks, so I don't have to take this all apart and uh, put it through the sewing machine. So, you're gonna watch my first attempt at using this thing to uh, stitch that across there. See how it goes. Well, would you look at that? It turned out pretty good. I think it, uh, no major ripples or kinks in there. I'm gonna, that was one stitch across. I'm gonna run another stitch, put my pipe in there, then that's done. It's a little wonder. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. That three quarter inch bar is a perfect weight on the bottom of here. I can hit a driver into this. And uh, it keeps the screen, enough tension on the screen where I'm not hitting my back wall or, or even getting close to that. Um, but there is one slight thing that's happening. You can see here, as I hit into the middle here, it's bunching up the screen and, and pulling it away from the end of the bar. <clears throat> so my plan is uh, to slide this in and do a little uh, sew here to capture this bar in here, keep a little tension on the cross direction, uh, so we'll see how that works. Definitely not perfect, but good enough for me. Let's go over to this side and see if our bar is too long now that we cap that end off, I suspect. Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably cut an inch off or so, so I can pinch this and capture that in with a stitch. Alright, it's not the most pretty. I'm much more comfortable with welding than I am sewing. But, I think it turned out okay. Keep that material from pulling in here. All right, the screen is done. Now we need to get some turf down, something to absorb the, the balls as they're coming off. And I gotta finish my netting on the side here with some additional supports that go up to the ceiling. I should have never put these in the basement. This is a rubber stall mat, six by four feet. I had them under my weights in the basement. They're pretty indestructible, uh, but extremely heavy and awkward. But I think this will be good for the landing area. I might get a cheaper, lighter 
kind of that foam tiles uh, for the basement. That way, if, if I ever have to move these again, it won't be such a chore. These things are ridiculous. But let's see how. You know, basically, I wanted to deaden the, the bounce of the ball. See, that does a pretty good job. And because we're in the garage, we live in the north, our vehicles get a lot of snow and salt on them. Uh, we've got a drain in the floor here, but water, this is gonna get wet, and this uh, stall mat's made for livestock. You can imagine what they do to it, so they can easily survive that water and salt from the vehicles in here. So I think this is the way to go. They're not cheap. I think it's about 40 bucks, 45 bucks for this. So I like how this is laid out. I need another mat, uh, but the local store is all sold out of them. So I'm going to use this time before I buy another one to make sure I can cut it because these are four feet wide, and this is just over three feet. So I want to make sure, basically I'm going to cut one of these in half and lay here. And then when I finally um, am, am able to find a new one, I can just pop it in this whole place and I don't need to cut it. So let's give it a try. utility knife um, so that went well and I'm kind of debating um, doesn't look too bad the way it is right now and if I cover that with turf it will allow me to putt and uh, most of the balls let's hit a few and see how much they bounce back or if they deaden on that obviously adding some some turf um, will even help that out so I don't know let's, I'm curious to see what this arrangement is like, or if I need to, to buy another mat or two. It's working perfectly. Let's see what a driver does. I'd say it passes. All right, so I've got my basic setup here. I've been using it quite a bit. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. And the kids are, it, it's a big hit. Um, so next time we're gonna do projector. I'm gonna swap out the nets on the side for curtains, I believe. I'm gonna try that, finish the look a little bit better. I'm gonna put some turf down on our stall mats uh, to help capture that ball so it's not rolling back as fast and so we can putt and I'm going to show you the launch monitor I'm going to go with and do a demo on that so exciting things coming thanks for watching adios